YouTube um, this is a correction of my recurrence proof video and this is a recurrence proof by substitution so we're going to find the running time of this function um, first to note t means uh, time here so this is a function of time so that's the reason why you have that okay so let's start So to start off, we need to find out what t of n divided by 2 is. 2, since we're substituting n divided by 2 for n here, that means that this is n divided by 2 divided by 2 plus 2 is equal to times t of n divided by 4 plus 2. Okay. So this will be our second k iteration. And the original equation will be the first. So now we can rewrite the equation. Equals 2 times. We're going to substitute this here for this here. So, 2 times t of n divided by 4 plus 2. And then we have to add on our 2 here, plus 2. All right, let's rewrite this to make it look a little bit better. So, 2 times 2 is 4. And then 2 times 2 here is 4. And then we have plus 2. So now we need to figure out what is our t of n divided by 4. So t of n divided by 4. This is going to equal 2 times t of n divided by 4 divided by 2 plus 2. This here equals 2 times t of n divided by 8 plus 2. So now we can substitute in our third k iteration for t. So t of n is equal to 4 times, we're substituting this in for this. So actually let's use 2 times t of n divided by 8 plus 2. And then we're going to add on the 4 and the 2. So plus 4 plus 2. All right, and let's multiply this out here. So we get 8 t of n divided by 8. And then 4 times 2. So we get 8 plus 4 plus 2. Okay, now we can come up with a generalized form because we can start to see a pattern here. So in general, we can see that here, um, this ran 2 to the 3 times on the third k iteration, 2 to the 2 times on the second k iteration, and 2 to the 1. So, general form 2 to the k, and then we see this 8 here, so it's the same thing um, t of n divided by 2 to the k plus 2 to the k plus 2 to the k minus 1 plus 2 to the k minus 2. Okay, we can rewrite this here as a summation. So, this here becomes the summation from i equals 1 to k of 2 to the i. And if you know your... Um, your summation formulas, 
then you know that this right here becomes 2 to the k plus 1 minus 2. Okay, so now we want to get this in the terms of n. So we can do that because we know that when n equals 1 here, um, t equals 0. So, so what we want here is we want n to equal 1. And we know that's going to happen when n divided by 2k equals 1. So we want t of n divided by 2 to the k to equal 1 because this will equal 0. So what this means is that n equals 2 to the k equals 0. And this means that log base 2 of n equals k equals 0. So now we can put this in terms of n here using that. So now we have 2 to the log base 2 of n of t to the n divided by 2 to the log base 2 of n plus 2 times 2 to the 2k minus 1, because I substituted out a 2 here. And then we're going to substitute the k here for log base 2 of n. OK. So now this equals n times n divided by n plus 2 times n minus 1. Okay, um, now we know that t of n divided by n is equal to zero. Uh, some may be a number um, other than zero. So for now, I'm just going to put, uh, uh, let's just actually put zero. So let's multiply by zero plus 2n minus 2. And you can see that this here equals 2 times n minus 1. So, so t of n belongs to big O of n. All right, thank you.